amigos, ¿cómo están? La nueva edición de Auto 060 y ahora vamos a ir rápidamente porque tenemos mucha información en este show y vamos a pasar rápido, así de inmediato, la entrevista que hicimos con el presidente y CEO de Mercedes-Benz USA, Steve Cannon, en la presentación del nuevo Mercedes-Benz S-Class 2014 allá en Toronto, Canadá. Steve, thank you very much for having us here. Another fabulous event as Mercedes-Benz always do. Thank you. Uh, for a very special car and a very special occasion. Mercedes-Benz is doing breaking records every month here in the States. Yeah, you know, it's just great in a year where we're introducing a car like the S-Class. It's the flagship of our of our lineup. We think it's the flagship of the entire automobile industry, but to do that against the backdrop where the market keeps improving, we're on an absolute record price, pace. We've had our best first six months ever. We were on track to to uh, set an all-time sales record, and there's strength across our entire product line. We've got trucks that are doing well, our E-Class that we just introduced is doing well, and now we're about to introduce an S-Class, and then a new entry point for the brand, which is our CLA. There's just so much breadth and depth across the model lineup. It's uh, it's just a great time to be associated with the Mercedes-Benz brand. Yeah, so even the C-Class that I understand is all the last uh, times of their cycle, of each cycle, uh, which is a fantastic car still. It's doing really well, that car. So. It, it's our volume leader. It's done phenomenally well. And to think that we're in the seventh year of its product, cy product cycle and it's doing as well as it's doing is, again, just a testimony to the strength of Mercedes-Benz. So uh, we're getting ready to wow the public again next year with the replacement for the C-Class, whereas every bit is confident that the C-Class is going to redefine that segment just like the S-Class has redefined the entire uh, automobile industry. Yeah, And obviously it's a product that, that's driving the, the great numbers, but it's also something uh, improving a lot in Mercedes-Benz, which is customer service. I mean, the, you just were ranked number one in other of studies on the Consumer Report on the consumer service. And that's, that's very important because, um, as we talked before in other occasions, like the luxury market has widened a lot. I mean, even a $25 car is, it can be a luxury item for a lot of people. Sure. And like the CLA, as you were mentioning, is going to come up under just 30, right? That's right. So uh, the, the experience of the customer when they visit a dealership, it's very, very important for you guys. It, it's, it's, it's absolutely important. This is a luxury transaction and people need to feel like they're getting an extra special level of care. And whether that's on the service side or on the sales side, there has to be something extraordinary. This is not just like any other ma mass market transaction. So we're really trying to focus our dealers uh, around delivering this kind of best or nothing customer experience. You know, and today you really don't have much choice because with, with social media, with the ability to kind of uh, reach out and project your experience out to your friends and to yeah, your family. It can go bad very quickly. It can go bad very quickly or it can go good very quickly Which is what happened because now. people talk about things that are extraordinary extraordinarily good or extraordinarily bad people want to share that we just need to make sure that that our experience kind of fits into that extraordinarily good category and can you can you give us a little example of what like to the because it, this goes to the very little the smallest detail in the experience like greeting the people by hand like being friendly not very pushy i, I was reading like not even like pushing like uh features in the car so like waiting for people to ask for little things because then you go a little bit into tell like what of the things that you uh talk to your uh sales associates at the dealerships uh, like any like any luxury transaction, you know, the, it's always the little details. It's how well do I pay attention to the customer so I can find something that's of interest to you that I can make that then special. So many times when people come in for the sales experience, they're celebrating something big, whether that's uh, a big deal or a contract or a celebration or I just turned 50 and I'm going to finally uh, treat myself. So, so we now have our sales folks kind of actively listening to try to turn that into an amazing delivery. You know, to me, that delivery moment, it's don't just flip somebody the keys, yeah. make it an amazing thing. And they're unveiling and there are flowers and they're, it, it's, they're trying to turn it into a celebration, which they then take their phone and ask them, <laughs> okay, let me, let me post that for you. Let me yeah. help you post that for you on, uh, on Facebook or Twitter uh, or Instagram. So those are the little attentions to detail that, that uh, we're trying to sort of tune our dealers into. Yeah, and the competition for that number one spot, both in sales and customer satisfaction, is very, very tough. Not only with luxury brands, but other brands, right? Well, absolutely, because I think everybody recognizes that, uh, you know, in an age of social media where everybody can talk good or bad about your brand, your experience has to be great. So everybody's putting time, attention, focus, and money into this, and it's just going to be a question of who gets it, who gets it better first, who out executes the other, and uh, what I like about our kind of 
our hand here is that our products are right, we've got the best dealer relationship in the business, uh, our facilities are, are largely built, so we're now able to take that time and energy and focus it singularly around delivering an amazing customer experience. And then you bring in two fabulous cars, one on the very top, the, the new S-Class, and then the CLI, as you were mentioning. The S-Class is amazing, we just drove it here in Toronto, and I mean, the amount of technology that goes to that car, it's just like mind-boggling. I mean, like, the car almost drives itself. It's, it's really staggering when you think about how much technology is in that car. But what I love about it is it's not technology for technology's sake. It's all about how does that help you as a driver? How does it help you become a better driver? How does it make you safer? How does it make you more comfortable? And how does it just delight you? I mean, when you step into that interior, you're just surrounded by this feeling that, uh, that really differentiates the Mercedes experience from everything else. So it's not just about technology. It's about technology that's really, really focused on and delivering an amazing experience for the customer. Yeah, and then like that back seat. I mean, this is a car that you can drive and enjoy it a lot, but then you can probably enjoy more a lot in the back. You know, with our car, you could fly first class every single day in the back seat where you've got a reclining chair. No brakes needed. No <laughs> You're already <laughs> brakes. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't have to go through security and get patted down. So it's, yeah. an, it's really a, a phenomenal experience. So yeah. both the front and the back, um, it's, uh, it's benchmark. It's absolutely benchmark. Yeah, and then as you were mentioning, the CLA coming up later this year, right? Uh, that's going to be another challenge for Mercedes-Benz because you're coming up at a very affordable price, but the expectation is going to be pretty high for people. And I'm very, very confident that the CLA will exceed those expectations. It is a phenomenal car. If you park it right next to the, the, the this new S-Class, this benchmark, you can 100% see that this is a car that sh shares the same lineage, the same DNA, and the same focus on the customer. It's just at a different price point. So it's a demonstration, I think, of the strength of the Mercedes-Benz brand that in the same year, you can bring a benchmark S-Class onto the, onto the market at the same time as a brand new entry point in the CLA. It just shows that we're strong up and down the model line. Well, thank you very much again for your time and the opportunity here. And uh, I can't wait to drive that car. The, I, I like the commercial a lot. You don't have to sell your soul to the devil to enjoy a fabulous car with Mercedes. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Steve.